Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to a new week. This is challenge week six, and I wish I could show you what we're going to make, but it, I sold it, and so it's gone. But for all of you that have been so excited about a file folder journal, that's what we're going to start this week. So don't panic if you don't have file folders, because I'm going to show you how to create one. Um, I've got four here. I'm pretty sure this was a pack of eight that came in a grabby box. And so I've got two with a center, one at the top uh, left and one at the top right. It doesn't matter. You don't even need those tabs. So um, if you don't have a file folder, there are dies that are file folders, and I do believe I have one right here. I did not use this one, but there is a Thinlet by Sizzix from Tim Holtz that is a file folder. And if you look at that, you can see, I mean, how simple is that? So what I did to show you, if you don't have a file folder, is I took a piece of this would have come like, let's see, how did this come? Where'd I cut this? I think I cut this. No. Goodness, Charlotte. I cut it like this, and all I did was round that corner. So this was a piece of file folder like this. It is the other half to this right here, probably from the dollar store, I am guessing. And I cut it, the measurements of this, but I just wanted to show you how simple this would be. So depending upon if you even want your little tab, you're going to take this to the scoreboard just because it's easier that way to find, sorry for the noise, to find the center. We don't want the center because I want, see how this is lower, it's like a quarter of an inch lower. So our center is like seven and a half, maybe. So three and a half would be, let's go three and a quarter. Does that sound right? Three and a half would be seven. So, that would be wrong. So, we're going to go, let's just go three and a half and keep it simple. Let's see. No, I'm not going to like that. We're going to go three and, let's go an eighth over the three and a half. And we'll just live with whatever it is we've got. And not worry about it. So if we fold this up, yep, that looks pretty good to me. It needs a little bit of cleaning up, a little bit of trimming, but I think it looks good. Look at that. So I think I would just clean it up just the tiniest bit here. And maybe round the edges. You don't have to round the edges, but I'm thinking it's going to look nicer with the edges. Not so sharp, so let's see. Let's round them and check it out. Yeah, you've got a nice page here. It isn't, boy, it is not anywhere perfect. That's for sure, because I'm looking at that. Look at how off that is funny that side is good and this side is just wonky wonky so if we cut that off obviously we have to round it again but look at how nice that is so there you have it and if you don't have file folders but you have cardstock and I'm not going to throw this out because we will use this for something let's just say this is a piece of cardstock. You could go ahead and 
just going to eyeball this. Just fold it up. Leave it like this, or you could, if you have a tab punch, you could create, let's see what I've got here. Take your tab punch, create a tab, and just put your, just glue your tabs wherever you want them. Perfectly cute as can be, look at that. So I wouldn't think twice about doing that. It's a good idea, but um, my four, index cards measure. The important part on this is to get the uh, bottom measurement because we're going to be doing an accordion fold to keep them together to make our journal. So this is six and a half. So what I did is I took a piece of file folder with a width of six and a half and it is longer than what I need. This particular piece of file folder is approximately 11 and a half by the six and a half that I need right there. And then I took it to the scoreboard and I scored every one inch and then accordion folded it up. It is larger than what I am going to need. So my cover will go on this piece here, but what we're going to do then, and to be ready for next week, have your four pieces of, or however, if you want to do six or eight, however large you want your journal, I am doing four. So have your file folder pieces ready and have your accordion binding ready, because this is going to be what binds our book. We're going to slip this in there. We're going to do this at the end after we've decorated all our file folder pieces. So your first page will be there. Your second page will be here. This will come together. Your third page will be here. And your fourth page will be here. And then this, we'll cut this off. This will be the back. And this would be where our cover is going to go. So we will open it up. It's going to be decorated. You can decorate it this way if you want. I am going to decorate mine this way. So it will open up like this. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, don't panic because it will as we go. But if you can get this part done, get your file folders together or get them ready. And then because these have such a sheen on them, uh, what I am going to do is take my little Tim Holtz sanding disc and I am going to sand over this. And then I am going to... Uh, I am going to decorate this for the holidays, Christmas paper. I am going to be using Blue Fern Studios, one of Jen Bishop's. And I'll show you the pack I'm going to use in just a minute. And Archival Ink um, in Ground Espresso. So let me... Or do I want to stick with the gold? Ooh, maybe I'll stick with the gold. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe because it is the holidays, I'll stick with the gold. Gold pigment. So uh, what I'm going to do to all four of these before next week is I'm just going to go and I'm just going to roughly sand this. Only the outside, you don't, unless you're going to decorate the back, and I am not decorating the back of mine, and I'm not decorating the back because I want you to see that they're file folders, but I'm going to just take this finish off. Let's just play with one, and a white. Sorry, guys, I don't have anything. Nothing's convenient this morning. I, don't know what, I was so excited just to get in and make this video that I wasn't thinking. Look at all of that that comes off of here. So, 
get this out of here, and I'm going to just slightly go over that a little bit. That nail should be good to go with no issue. And um, I'm going to leave the back like that because, um, boy, did I leave the back in the other one? Maybe I'm not because we are going to turn this. Well, I'm not going to worry about the back right now. Don't you worry about the back. We are going to seal this up because we want these to be pockets. And I was thinking last night when I was laying in bed, do I want to stitch on these? So that is an option. And do I want the strings? That's an option. But while we're here together, let's just go ahead. Let's see. Oh, well, yeah, Charlotte. Put the sanding disc in the uh, in the gold pigment. That's really smart. Okay, how does that look? Well, you can kind of pick it up. I'm wondering if I don't sand this. Yeah, it's going to come off. I have no choice. Okay, we will sand. have no choice. That's what happens when you've got to finish on something. And I'm thinking I might be better off to stitching because by not stitching, I'm taking a chance that the glue may not adhere like I want it to. So I am going to just go around the back just in case I decide I'm going to decorate this. I wish I could remember what I did on the other one. I might just put a journal page, thinking about it, on the back. And that then will also be an addition because then you can write on this. So that might be an idea. Okay, now we're going to try to use the gold pigment and see what we get. All right. So let's... Yeah, I think the gold is a good idea because look at how pretty that is. Yeah. If it's not... It's not really dark enough for me, so I'm thinking I might go ahead I don't know. I'm not in love with this, so I'm thinking I wonder if yeah. Okay, Dauber. And of course. All right, let's try this then. Let's see if this. So let's just see if this will work. Yeah, I like that much better. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to put ground espresso on this. And then I'm going to go over it with the gold. That's what I'm going to do. I like this much better. Yeah. Much, much better. Just need to find my other dauber. This works, but oh yeah. That shows up much. That, it's just nicer. Okay. So that's what I am going to be doing. I am going to go over it with ground espresso, and then I am going to be going over it with the gold just to have that. Can you see that sheen? I really like that. And I will be doing both the front and the back. And then, and I'm showing you this just so that you can get started and plan. I have taken a piece of, and around these corners, I have taken a piece of the uh, Blue Fern Studio, and I'll show you the paper that I uh, am going to be working with. And I cut the first page 
down so that uh, you would have an idea of what it looks like. And I'm thinking we may, yeah, we may have to just do the large corner rounder just to get this a little bit shorter so that it fits on there just a little bit nicer. Yeah, just like that. And I'm not going to glue it down yet because I'm not positive of how I'm going to how I'm going to layer or decorate this yet, but this will be the next step. Once you have your file folders all ready to go and that is um, created and um, inked around the edges, if that's what you uh, have decided to do, then we're going to start laying down our pages and so uh, I might go ahead and glue these. I don't know if they are going to be pretty sure I'm going to stitch these. So um, having said that, I'm looking at this and thinking I would stitch then the top and then put this together and go ahead and stitch the sides, the bottom, and come up. So... This area here would have no stitching, which is okay because I'm probably going to decorate on this tab and I don't need the stitching the bulk underneath the glue. So I will, for next week, have my pages, my four pages decorated with whatever it is that I want on the top, that flat page, and then we're going to go from there adding pockets and any decor that we might want on our individual top pages. We're not gonna worry about what's going inside yet, but that will come. And then go ahead and have your accordion um, binding ready to go. And just know if you have to, if you, if you need to put glue two pieces together to give you your length, go for it. I did that in the first one, that's not a problem. You just would glue one. Uh, your second piece to this and have your binding. It, if it's too long, don't worry about that because mine's too long. We will be cutting that off. And I wanted to show you the paper pad that I am using. It is so beautiful, guys. You know, Blue Fern Studio. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So it is called... Mistletoe and holly is what I am using. So you can see here, this is what I had cut out for the first page. I think I probably will be using this. Um, I might switch to this for the first page because it's got a uh, Christmas number on it and it tells you obviously what the book is. This is the back, which is so cool. Look at the postcard. And then it comes with uh, two pages of each. This is uh, two pages of tags, which are beautiful. Jen Bishop just does such a gorgeous job. Look at that. And then there's this page here. This is the back. So there's two of those. And then this one. And that's something really, really, really beautiful. And this is that second page of the one that that's what I cut right there. Then you put this page here. I'm thinking that would make a gorgeous cover. The only problem is, is I would not have this up here, but as a cover, isn't that pretty? Really, really pretty. Then we've got this page here. Gorgeous. Love the cuckoo clock. And probably on one of my pages, I will have this because it's got the uh, calendar that shows it's December. I'm thinking I want the stocking page for the cover. We'll get to that in a second, but look at that. Oh, 
just beautiful. It doesn't even matter what side you use. This will make a beautiful cover. So this might be what I go for. Um, I did a cover of the uh, of another journal that's just about ready to go in my shop, and I used this page. Look at there. So, so pretty. And then you've got this one. We're almost through. You've stuck with me. Thank you. So pretty the window with the Christmas tree. And then look at that. Really gorgeous. And then who wouldn't fall in love with her? She's perfect. That perfect tr Christmas tree. So, yeah, this is the paper I am going to be using. And uh, I hope that I know many of you were very excited to go through this process. So I hope you're excited and um I will be starting in next week's challenge with this, with every, with my four um, layouts and my stitching done. So we'll be ready to add the elements that we want, pockets, tucks, that sort of thing. So hopefully you will enjoy this process. You will enjoy this design and want to make more. Truly, truly a fun journal to do. Thank you for joining me. If you um, enjoy this process, would you please give my video a thumbs up? I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow for Tag Tuesday, guys. Bye. Hugs.